Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chung here. So today, I'd like to talk about this 1,105 filling bookcase shelves. This is a medium problem. Mm, so let's take a look at the description here. So we have a sequence of books. The eighth book has a thick thickness of of this, basically the, the width and the height, with zero and one, right? And then our goal is to place these books in order, in order, remember it's in order onto the bookcase shelves that have total width of this shelf width. Okay. So the next thing is that we choose some of the books to place on, on the on the shelf first. You know, because it's, it's obvious it's obvious that we cannot put the books on the same shelf on the, on the same level whose whose total width is greater than the shelf the shelf width right that's that's why and then we build another la level <clears throat> on top of it or below it it doesn't really matter so we can put the rest of books and we repeat this process until there are no books to play uh, to, pl to place okay so here it ha it's very it's uh, emphasized one more time again at each step of the above process the order of the books we place is the same as the given sequence Basically, we can we have to follow the sequence, which means that let's say for example we have uh, seven books in total, right? I mean, at level one we we put one here, or we could have put two. But but before putting two in into this uh, bookcase shelf, we cannot put three here. That's why we mean as no matter how what what sequence, no matter how many books we choose to put on each levels, we have to put we have to follow the same sequence here. So in this case, basically on level one, we put one here, and on level two, we put two and three, and on level three, we put four, five, six, and, six and seven. So that the total height, right? So they ask us to find the minimum possible height. In this case, because at the level one, we have, we have uh, one here, right? And here we have three, here we have two. So in total, the height, is the minimum height is six. Okay, cool. So that's the problem basically, you know, and I think it's kind of obvious, right? It's a kind of like a DP problem. So now the, the question com the question comes down to what? To uh, the DP, right? So how can we do the DP? DPI equals to what, right? Mm. So the DPI equals to this. Basically, we have two options here, right? So we can either put this this book on the on the on this level, on the same level, or we can put this book on the on the next level. That's the two different scenarios we need to consider here. So that if if we decide to put okay, so the first scenario is is that we, if we decide to put this case sorry, put this book on the next level. So it means that and we have to increase the, we have to get the current levels maximum height and we do a plus one, we, we accumulate that one and then we just, uh, move to the next level. Okay, and if we decide to put this book on the same levels, we need to check if the, uh, if the remaining width allows us to put this book in this level, right? So, yeah, and that's that. That's basically the two scenarios. You know, to begin with, I would, I, I'd like to do a maybe a, D, a DFS with memorization. That will be uh, that'll be easier. And then we can go to the uh, the top, the bottom up scenarios. You know, so so to begin with, you know, return. We have an N here, right? So mm, length of the books here. Okay, and then, I mean, this is the kind of like templates, right? I mean, at the beginning we we have zero, you know, you know. So this so this time I will I will save the uh, that uh, memorization thing. I will just use the uh, the cache thing. So one more time, who for those who don't know what does this one do? It basically this one it's it this is a like a feature of the Python. Basically, it will automatically check if you have any if you have run this this uh this function with the same parameter. 
same value of parameter. If it is, and they, it will simply return that value to you instead of going going through here. So as if like we're doing like a memorization, it just save us a few lines of, of code here. Okay. So and you know, like I said, if we are like uh, at the beginning, we are only uh, thinking, okay, so let's start with zero. Let's start with zero. Okay. So in the first cases we put on the, the on the next level okay so let's say if we want to put on the next level what we're going to do we have a of course we have i i plus one here right we have i plus one and then what like i said if we decide to put on the next level okay we, it means that okay the current level is finished and we ha we need to accumulate the basically the the high the current the highest level for the current level and what that value be, which we don't have here. Then it tells us we need to have a second parameters here to help us track what is the current, the maximum current value. The, the, what's the what's the ma current maximum height, right? So that later on when we do it here, we can simply do a current plus h right because we already know that okay so it, this is the current level and uh, if we decide to move to the next one we okay we, we know okay it's it's now to uh, to add this one to our final answer so that you know since we're moving this where we decide to place this one to the next level so which means that for the next level the beginning at the, for the beginning the current the the, the the current max level height, right? Is the uh, is what it's it's the same as the current book's height. I I one, right? Okay, so let's continue. So what's the what's the second one? We put on the same level, right? So like I said, to put on the same level. What we we need is another thing to check. Basically, we can only put on the same level if the remaining width, if we have enough space. But how can we know if there's an enough space? Which means that we need another, we need another parameters here. So this one is, has the uh, the remaining remaining width here. So if the books, if the current books, right, of i to zero. Is equal or smaller than the remaining width, then we know okay we can put these books in the at, in the current level. So this is gonna be a DP of the minimum. Okay, we think we're going to get the minimum, right? The minimum answer of the uh, the what the DP i plus one i plus one. That's the first one, and the second one is what the uh, since we're putting on the same level, right? So we have to do an update. We need to update the uh, we need to update the uh, the current the, the the maximum height of the current level, which will be the current h the maximum of the current h and the book of this current book's height, right? And and the uh, the remaining path the remaining width right remaining width minus the books i zero let's do this uh, with and let's uh, let me make this one a little bit easier to read here so we have width zero and we have height height of, of one okay so now we have a height here right so this is the height and if the width, and we have a, is the height, right? The current height, and this is the, the width. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, but here, don't forget to update this one. Since we're introducing like the remaining width here, okay, remember, so here we're, we're saying that, okay, we're putting this, this books on the, on the next level. So after putting this, this book on the next level, so what's gonna be the remaining width right for that level so it's going to be a shelf dot width minus minus current width right because after putting that so when we at that level 
uh, with the i plus one and the current h here, there is already a book in there. So that's why we need to re uh, subtract the current width, right? With uh, from this because at the, from the from the, at each new level, so it, at the beginning we have this like shelf width. Okay. Yeah, and then here we simply return the answer. Okay. And of course the base case, right? So the base case is, of, of course, is i is in the range of, of n. Okay, so if, if we have reached the, the end, so what are we going to return? Are we returning zero? No, so keep him, uh, no, be careful here. So we, we need to return the current h here. Because it means that we have, we, we have run, run out of the, basically, we're not run out. We have, we have a place all the, uh, the books. So which means that, let's say we have a, one, two, three, and then we have a four and five, right? So this is like the level one, and this is the, the level two. So once we are at uh, four, five here, right? So when we're at five here, we are at, we're at, uh, so the I will become to, to, to six or, 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 or to five, either five or six here. So at, at this moment, what, what we need to do here, we need to return the current I mean the current height for this level because we haven't accumulated this this uh, this the last level's height here, which will be the current height. That's why we need to return the height here, not not zero. Keep in mind, not zero because we are, we need to accumulate the last levels the last levels height. Cool. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's run the code. Oh, here, yeah, sorry. Since we have added a third and a uh, second and third parameters, we also need to pass it in. So at the beginning, we have zero height and we have a uh, shelf width at the beginning, right? Let's run the code. Yeah, cool, accept it, submit. All right, pretty cool, huh? So that's how we, uh, this things, this thing works. As you guys can see, we, we're, we're not having that uh, memorization template right but you know mm, in a real interview maybe it's it's better to uh to write that things uh, explicitly instead of using this shortcut just to show the interviewer you have you have that concept right i mean okay i'll just i'll just write it here so memorizations right i mean if i current h remain w right in memorization right so return memorization okay right so that that's that here i started here the answer okay so that's the the whole template here cool and how about the space and time complexity I mean, the worst case scenario, at each of the state here, we have two cases. We have, so we should have like two to the power of, of n. Because at each state, we have one, one of each, right? But with the memorizations, and with the memorizations, so the time complexity will become to n times this, this width here. So basically, that's the time complexity. Yeah. And the space complexity is also, uh, it's also this, uh, n time times w here. Yeah. Cool. So that's the first, uh, top-down solutions. I mean, in my opinion, this top-down is, is, uh, is easier to understand. So now this next one is the bottom-up. The bottom up. So I mean, similar concept, but it, you have to think it like in the in 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 reverse way, right? So, so the bottom-up is like this. Basically, you define the uh, uh, a DP, right? So of course you need N here. 
you need a like DP here, right? That's why at the beginning everything is like system at some maximum value since we are getting the ma the minimum, right? So it's going to be n n plus one, it's n plus one, yeah. And uh, yeah, so for the bottom up, uh, we all we need is this like this one D array here. We don't need that uh, this uh, additional parameters here. All we need is this because that we can get everything from we can get everything so that we don't have to keep track of the current the current the maximum height and the remaining width we can get everything inside the for loop so it's obviously with zero book we have zero height okay and now the next is thing is like this for i in range of one to the one to n plus one okay and then later on we return the dp n right or dp at minus one so same thing, I'm going to copy these things here to make things easier. So first, put on the next level. Mm. Yeah, so actually it's not on, on the next level. Basically, since like we are thinking in the backwards, right? So it means that the current I, you know, the the current ith book, current ith book is on a new level. Okay, because the DP means that I mean, up to this ice book, what's the what's going to be the minimum height, right? So that's why it means that I mean we are put the first in the so the first scenario is that the current ice book is on is on the new level. So only this ice book is on the new level. All the others they're all, they're on the, the previous level, right? So, so this thing means that the DP I equals to what DP i minus one plus h right this means because since this current one is the ice the ice book is on a new level it means that we okay we know that we, we're gonna need add this current h as the total and whatever left is it leaves to the the dp i minus one okay so the next is the uh the current ith book is on the same level, okay? So if the current ith book is on the same levels, we're gonna have like, uh, so that's that's why we need another for loop here or a while loop here, because we, we need to try all the possible number of books that this, this current, this, uh, this l level can include with this current ith book, right? So something like, let's say this is the ith book, right? And this is the, like the the shelf. Basically, we have to try. You let's say if we have like this one, two, three, four possible books, we can it can be included in in this shelf. In, sorry, into this same levels. We have to try all all of them. So which means that uh, I'm going to have like a k here. So k starting from i minus one because we know that. And we need to we need to know how many other books right we need we can include here. And so we have a current height equals to h, right? Same as this one because we know and since we are going to travel backwards and it might be more than one book on the same level. That's why we need this current height to track the current current one. And uh, remember, so here we are assuming. We have already on this book on the on the same level, so it means that we already have a remaining width equals to what equals to the uh, the shelf of width right minus minus w. That's our starting point, okay? And we are looking backwards, assuming we have already have this book on on the same level. So what we're going to do here? We have a while k is equal to greater than one, right? Because we are we're going back to the so the one means that we have uh, we have one book, right? And and what? 
so keep in mind we are starting from the i minus one, so we, which means we're starting from here, and we 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 check if the remaining right remaining with minus books or or it's greater or let's just follow the same same thing we have here. Okay, so this width is okay. Let, let's just let's just use that the similar if condition there. Basically, if the books k minus one zero. K minus one zero, right? And it's small equals smaller than the than the remaining width. So remember we're doing like this K minus one. So why is that? Because oh sorry, here is also uh, I minus one and uh, here. Because we're starting from one to n, n plus one. And this is a one based. And uh, the book is book is zero based. So anything regarding the books has to be I minus one. Okay, or k minus one in this case. Okay, so basically we're saying if this one, if that one uh, has can be fit in on the same same levels, then we know okay, we find the candidates. So what we are going to do here is first we need to update the current age, right? Equals the max of the uh, the current age of the uh, of the books. K minor, minus one one. So first thing first, we need to get the uh, the updated current age, and then we can do what? We can do this. Then we do a DPI equals the minimum of the DPI, right? And then for what? The DP K minus one. So why is that? Because you know. We have already include this k, right? So which means that the remaining is the starting from the dp k minor, minus one, right? And then we plus this current h. This is the updated h for the current value for the current row of uh, current level. And the, the the others is this k. So and later and in the end, don't forget to update this remaining remaining width, right? Equals to what? Equals This uh, books k minus one zero, right? And last thing, decrease k. Yep. So yeah, I think that's it. Run the code. Hmm. While wow, and books, oh, sorry, I think I missed a semicolon. Uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, this colon thing. So this thing works and submit. It should also work. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm, that's the uh, the bottom up. You know, I know it's a little bit. Mm. A little bit more difficult to to understand comparing with the uh, the top down because the top down is following the is following the the order of of this this of this problem. Basically, we're playing the book one by one. Right? This is more in, more intuitive. And we're on the on the bottom up. Actually, we're thinking backwards. Right. So with the with this with at the current. At the current i, we have we, we also have two two options. Either this i is on the same on the on the new level, okay, which means that you know basically this one is on the new level, so there's no no point to to traverse back because the this current this current one is the uh, is is the is the maximum height, right? And but if this one is on the same level with with, with some other some other like books, right? Then we know. Okay, we have to try all the possible scenarios while maintaining this uh, the current height for this level and also maintaining this remaining remaining uh, width so that we know if we can include more books into the current level, right? And then that's the uh, the previously state. 
cool i think that's it for this problem thank you so much guys for watch uh for watching this video stay tuned see you guys soon bye bye